601 is the time right now. We want to get back to the breaking news in Alexandria, Virginia, where opposition to a possible monumental move is gaining momentum this morning. A busload of people are about to leave for Richmond uh, to rally against the new sports arena coming to Potomac Yard. This all stems from the plan announced by Monumental Sports owner Ted Leonsis to move the Washington Wizards and Caps out of the district and into Northern Virginia. Our Matt Gregory joins us now live from Alexandria, right where that bus is minutes away from getting on the road. And Matt, they are taking their case to the General Assembly. Yeah, Alice, the bus just pulled up and the case for the General Assembly is very important today. The bill is in the Senate Finance Committee, and so the advancement of that bill depends completely on, uh, you know, who is going to be voting for it, how they feel about it in terms of the lawmakers. And folks here with Stop the Arena, like Andrew McDonald, are here to uh, plead their case to the General Assembly. Andrew, first of all, tell me about what today and why, well, tell me about why today is so important. Well, I think it's so important because clearly the General Assembly is getting very close to at least the Senate Finance Committee to passing this bill out of the committee. So we're going down there to tell them we don't want them to do it. We want them to uh, stop the bill right now and uh, let the uh, voters of Alexandria really have a, a say in what, what happens. And that, that's a very interesting point. But before I get to that, I wanted to know, you know, what is the game plan? Because we see people go to Richmond all the time to kind of plead their case. How are you guys attacking this particular set of issues? Well, we have uh, like 20 or 30 meetings set up. So we're going to go and talk to legislators across the aisle. Both It's a bipartisan issue, obviously. And we're going to try to convince them that this is not good for Alexandria or the Virginia taxpayers. Uh, one other point we've heard from Monumental Sports and from Governor Youngkin and some of the lawmakers up here that this would be great for the economic impact to the area. What's your response to that? Well, I, my response to it is look at all the studies. The sports economists all show that these sports arenas do not generate substantial economic impact. I mean, it's a very different case in D.C. It's been there many years. They poll and set it up. There are small businesses that have it. We don't need it here. The Potomac Yard will thrive without a without a sports arena. So we think there's a better form of development for Alexandria. Yeah, and should it pass to the Senate Finance Committee? Should it go to the House and the Senate passes it as well? What's your plan of attack from that point on? Well, our plan is to continue to, to work lawmakers and ask them not to approve this. We think the transportation impacts, the financial impacts are not good. And if worse comes to worse, we'll ask them to put a referendum, attach a referendum to the bill, and let Alexandria's have a say, because clearly our local government is not representing us. Thank you so much for joining us. I think you have to get ready to get on the bus. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Andrew. So they're about to leave at about 6.20 or so. That's when they will head to Richmond. Like you heard Andrew say, they'll be meeting with different committee. They'll be meeting with the Senate Finance Committee and other lawmakers from across the state and across the area as they plead their case to stop the arena from coming here to Potomac Yard. In Alexandria, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you, Wisdom. All right, Matt Gregory reporting. Uh, thank you, Matt. 6.04 is the time right now.